Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo flawless run on the Seraph Shield mission, which is this season's exotic mission, and also will probably be required to do this for the next couple of weeks for the Revision Zero, Revision Zero multiple cart lists, if I can even say it. Now, right at the start, as you can see, you've got a thing, threat detection. That is just the security, Rasputin security protocols. They will track you if you're not in cover. Now, I kind of, I kind of try to just get rid of these knights because, well, they're just annoying. It doesn't take a lot. Just basically, I'm hitting them with, as you can see, I'm using a waveframe grenade launcher, which is putting uh, weak and clear on them, and then I'm hitting them with my uh, xenophage. The full setup that I'm using will be shown at the end. But uh, because I'm changing weapons for the bosses, because there's two main boss fights and then kind of a mini boss fight in here. So I will be changing uh, heavy energy and primary at those boss fights. So you'll get a good idea as we're going through what I'm using. I am using solo operative and weak and clear, which basically takes care of the class item. I am using my scout rifle uh, tears of contrition. I am using uh, Forbearance. Now that is my waveframe of choice because it's got chain reaction on it. But any any grenade launch, any waveframe would do to, to replicate this run. And I'm using uh, Xenophage. Make sure you've got the relevant finders and scavengers on. Now, what I tend to do here is I try and get rid of this knight, this captain, pretty quickly. Now, I, am, I have found a different way to do this just to be a little bit more... I, I, I'm not even sure if it's more efficient. What I'm doing at the moment, as you've seen there, I took all the ads out, and then what you've got to do is you've got to pick up the scanner buff. Now, I'll explain when we're going up here about the buffs, but I'm pretty sure you guys will know all about them. But what I'm doing now is I'm putting a grenade on that captain. I'm killing the, the vandal with the scavenger, and then I'm going and scanning. And the time that I'm waiting here is the time that I use to kill all the ads after I've done the scan just to be more efficient, but it's only seconds it'll save. So the scanner, these are the buffs that, that are uh, synonymous with Deepstone Crypt, the raid. Scanner allows you to see things that you wouldn't be normally be able to see, that's the yellow buff. The red buff, the operative buff, will let you interact with things that you normally wouldn't be able to see. They'll all be, those things, will, all the things are lit up kind of yellow. And then you've got the suppressor buff, which will allow you to take shields off bosses and stuff. So, right here, my only tip for this part here is be very careful where those that, that captain is now, that, that vandal that I'm aiming at, sorry. There is an exploding barrel there, make sure you take that out if you're going to be firing a wave frame. It might be a good idea, you see there I used my wave frame to take out the first wave of shanks. It might be a good idea to uh, just get the, the, the guy down that's got, uh, got the scanner. And then go and pick, uh, pick the scanner up. And then come in. Let then throw your grenade so that you take all the shanks with them. Now what you see me do there. There is a bit of a glitch. A bit of a, a bug in this that stops you from crouching. If that happens, do exactly what i done. Just go into your roster. And then come out. And that should fix it. But it, it's only recently started happening to me. So that's how I deal with it anyway. So as you can see, we we got the scanner buff. We went in there and scanned. Now we're coming out. We've got one more to scan. You might have a couple of uh, shanks left there. I don't really bother about them too much. Uh, and then scan. And that's you through. Now you've got a sentinel to take care of. I am doing this, as you can see, on the warlock. So I'm utilizing the warlock's grenade. Just sometimes he tries to run away from the grenade. If he stays there, just hit him once with the Xenophage and let your grenade whittle him down because the longer your grenade damages him, the more you're going to get a grenade back. So, as you'll see, I it's I prioritise enemies. I, I've always been that way. Uh, and because that captain is the hardest hit, and even though there are snipers, I, I, I like to prioritise the captain. Once he's out, it kind of, I can come into the room basically. You've got a bunch of sniper shanks that will keep respawning, which Bungie seems to have implemented in this uh, exotic mission, especially at the boss fights, which can be highly annoying 
when you've cleared an area and then out of nowhere they all respawn that will happen a bunch in here so as you can see that's all those ads taken care of once you pick up the scanner buff you will get a, bu a whole bunch uh, more shanks coming from this room here this door you see me waiting for them you can just I haven't scanned this yet it's once you scan this then you get them coming so I'm just gonna take the snipers out what I should have done was immediately put my waveframe just to take them all out instead I'm wasting time now not wasting time but you know what I mean I, I could have been more efficient with that time so once you've scanned that you can just turn around put something down in that doorway take all the shanks down at the same time and then take the two snipers and Bob's your uncle. Now when you get in here you can just jump over. Although we have the buff, we have the thing now that we don't get so much damage now from from lasers. I'm still doing my best to do it as if I don't have it because there might be some people that haven't got to that stage yet. Now you see there, as long as you've got the buff in that window, you see, it will show you which which uh, panel to scan up here. It was third from the left, which is this one. Key logger complete. There you go. Now we're going to be going into a room that's full of... Uh, other way. Yes, that's the way. <laughs> we're going to be going into a room here that's full of... Uh, a whole bunch of uh, turrets. Now, just so that you know for future reference, you really don't... These two at the bottom left and right, although it's not much, you don't have to take them. If you take the one right in front of you, and then you take the one up left and the one up right, the two I'm taking now, you can just leave the bottom left and right ones, because they, they won't shoot you once you get above this platform here. So when you're on here, they won't bother with you. Now, I'm, I'm shooting this because I don't have a lot of heavy. Although, if you're not doing this for speed, which I was trying to make this as efficient as possible, I think it's a 35 minute run, with the way that I'm doing it at the moment, I probably could get it under the half hour. Uh, I'm trying to save ammo because there's two turrets in the main room. I could have went and got that box over there. You can see it there. This room, this room when I first done it, it took me a little while because I like to work stuff out on my own. It took me a little while to work out where I was going wrong, what I was supposed to be doing. So basically, this room's just full of ads, uh, captains, sniper turrets. Uh, sniper shanks, or sniper turret, sorry. Uh, you can see there, there's a scanner. So the idea is, you pick, you pick up this scanner, you look in the room to the right where, where the scanner buff is, is situated right now, and it will show you, it's like a mock-up of the room that you've got to go through, it will show you which terminals you have to scan. Now I designate them left, right, mid. So I'll pick up this scanner, and I will go right, mid, right, left. Okay, that's how I would remember it. Left, right, mid. So I'm looking to see if there's any heavy, there's none. So I'm just going to run in here. And you've got to follow a path, right? So the path is actually quite simple. The path is, you can see where, where I'm going here. When you go in, you take one, one square in, turn left, then you go up and you turn right with three squares left. And then from then on in, you will always... You'll always have the three panels in front of the 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 terminals, and then you'll you'll move towards the next set of terminals, and you'll turn when you're facing the first terminal you come to. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. But again, you can just follow my uh, my route. No, no go on to this room. This is the operator buff. The operator buff allows you. Primarily, its function in here, as you see there, is to shoot open uh, little panels that will open doors. Uh, I think the next, for the next little while, it's going to be more kind of more operator than scanner. We've done the scanner section, almost, just about, I think. Now we've got exploders. You don't really have to kill all of these. You can trigger them by running past them, but for safety's sake, you can just kill them. And as you can see, the grenade launcher does good damage. It will take them out pretty easily. Now, I've kind of made it harder for myself by not picking up that box. Uh, sometimes this will happen. I'm shooting this scanner. I've got to get real close to it before it activates. Now what I've got 
as I'm, I'm in a position where I'm going to have to I'll shoot one of them with the Xenophage, one of the Shriekers. I'm going to have to take the other Shrieker down with my Scout because I didn't get that box of Heavy. And then we're in here. So the Operator, basically in this room, you're going into little ducts. Now for this week, actually one of the... One of the uh, when you're doing the, the Catalyst mission for the Revision Zero Catalysts, where I've just looked there is where you'd have to go for this week's, you've got to find uh, scannable exoskeletons as part of this mission. So it's worthwhile knowing, you know, paying, paying a bit of attention to, to the mission when you're doing it to, to kind of work out where there are places where, you know, additional places. But they're normally where you would go, just off where you would go. Uh, I think so far what the two that we've had so far they've been pretty easy places to find as I say this week's is where we just were that last place we scanned in, in the little uh, air ducts and you just want to it scan uh, but at the moment what we're doing is we're trying to find the panels to unlock the security go through the next which is that one there which will take us back into this room uh, and into into the next area you see new objective now, designation for where you need to go, because it's, sometimes it's not very clear where you've got to go. Normally what they do is they have ads in the doorway of your next location. So if you're unsure where to go, if you've cleared a room out, they, there'll be ads or a ad in front of the next place you've got to go. Now, in this room you've got three turrets. Again, I'm trying, I know there's three turrets, so I'm just putting one shot on the turret. And then I'm shooting it with Xenophage. I'm putting one shot in the Xenophage and finish it with the Scout Rifle. The kind of thing you've got to do in here, you see, we've took that Captain out. Captain will drop a key code kind of thing. Uh, once you pick it up, once you've took out, you see there, I'm just I'm just trying to make my life easier, which <laughs> I most certainly am not by missing Xenophage shots. Uh, once you pick that little thing up, then, uh, see, I missed again. The zero phase is actually, it never used to be so difficult to aim, but it's its really kind of bouncy when you aim it. Uh, what you will get is you'll get this. Now, this happens in the raid as well. You'll get uh, situations where this little thing that we're going to put, with it, this little terminal here, the, the uh, protocol terminal, if a, if a server pops up in the raid, it locks that and it stops you from switching the buffs. So, what I'm going to do now is change to my next main loadout, which is, as you've seen there, Weather Horde. I have a Void Scout Rifle, and I have a Rocket Launcher. I, I, I don't know why I didn't do it, but normally I put Rocket Launcher Finder on and Scavenger, but I didn't this time. So, this is your first main boss fight. So, you're going to have this Hive Knight's going to come in. I'm just going to, as I say, I've got Weak and Clear, so I'm just going to drop a Weather Horde on him, which will bite away at him, and now I'm just waiting for his shield to come down and I'll fire two rockets that will make him immune and then we're going to get three bricks easy peasy except what we are also going to have is a bunch of ads that just spawn in relentlessly so as you can see there there's your first brick I've put I've put a weather horde on him and I've put another one that the rocket if it hit because they do dodge out the way the rocket sometimes. If the rocket hit, that will kill them. The super, uh, weather horde, and the rocket. If, you, if as long as long as they all hit, you're going. Right? So as you can see here, I'm just moving around. Now we are going to be getting ads following us. Now remember to keep putting your grenade down. Because as long as your grenade is getting kills, uh, as long as the grenade is getting kills, you'll be getting your health back. So what we need to do now is I'm just going to put some shots on him. And there we go, there's the second, the second brig down. We've got one more brig, which would seem like that would make it, you know, once you've done all that, that then, 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 then it's gold, right? Not entirely, because these ads are going to keep spawning in. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm looking for the snipers because... There'll be sniper shanks. Now, as far as I'm aware, those sniper shanks will keep spawning in. 
the same as the ad, so I'm, I'm just looking for them so that I can move around the area without the added bonus of having, uh, see that I've got Brecker Heavy, which is cool because I've run out of rockets. Get my grenade down, because I'm red bar, and there you go. Get a kill with a grenade, and jobs are good. Reload my rocket. I'm trying to stay airborne, because as long as I'm airborne, those invisible guys can't do anything to me. I, you see there that these, these, these marauders, right? Now, <laughs> they're highly frustrating because there's, there's just no, oh, here they come. They just come out of nowhere. When you think you've cleared them, they just come out of nowhere. More snipers in the air. You just got to be careful. Now, now that we've killed, uh, just stick that over there. I don't know why that bounced off the enemy. Now that we've killed the Briggs, the main thing now is getting rid of the ads. Now, once you get rid of the majority of the ads, see more and more of these marauders. I'll just put a grenade down there. Get back in there. Uh, what? I had a real problem. I think was it this night. Couldn't happen with the the weather forward. Every time I thought it happened, me either dodged out the way or dodged when I when I uh, I'll just put that grenade over there. Try to keep my my. Uh, Devour up because the, as you guys will be aware, I'm sure you're aware that uh, I'll just put another grenade over there because he's uh, he, he, he's enjoying smashing me and not 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 dying, which is not good. He's not dying. Uh, there we go. We've happened with that. We can kind of just leave the Weatherford to bite into him now. I've still got Devour propped, so there we go. Once you've cleared the majority of the ads. Then uh, I, I don't really want to waste my grenade on one ad. The rest of the ads will kind of start pouring into the mid. So I'm just move, making my way around the sides, just making sure there's no. I don't know, they think they were auditioning for the circus, those two. Uh, so that the rest of them will all. You see them there, they all start grouping when there's a. You know, when you've, you've kind of whittled them down enough that they've ran to the mid. And once there's just a couple left, then you'll get the notification. You're on your screen with those uh, icons to let you know that these are the last enemies and there we go that's that's all the, all of the enemies in here gone and as you can see there are enemies in the doorway telling us where to go now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this box and I'm going to switch back to my original loadout which which is uh, uh, Xenophage, Tears of Contrition and the Forbearance because when you come in here, that box was there to start with. So what I done was, I didn't bother using it. I just needed to make sure I got one brick of heavy. And now we're on to the next section, which is it's kind of a cool section. This is where we surrender, which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, and then we'll get the weapons back, and then it'll be like... Death Corridor. Tons of ads and captains and what have you. And then we're outside, back to the moonwalk, which is probably one of the coolest things about this mission uh, when it came in in deep stone when you went outside and done the space walk it was just it was phenomenal now with this mission is the, the, so kind of the main tips are especially if you're doing it on the warlock is the idea is the more grenades you can throw the more devour you can proc the more aggressive you can be because kills with any weapon will give you full health back immediately. Now, you'll see it when you look at my setup, which as I've already said will be at the end of the video. Uh, I do not have, like, so I do it one of two ways. I either don't set up for the boss properly, or I don't set up for the full mission. What you can do, and what I would suggest, is to have two chest plates that you can switch between. One being void, for the boss, because there's a lot of void incoming, uh, and one arc, so that you've got your arc sorted for this part of the mission. So, in a lot of respects, it reminds me of... Uh, in, in regards to the way that the mission is set up, it reminds me of uh, the Glassway, where, whereas the whole mission is like fallen and arc, and then the minute you get to the boss, you need Void. So to have Void resist on, I think it does more damn more good than this season's uh, this season's energy 
diffusion substrate, which is the gain of, you know, you get a small amount of resistance against uh, damage dealt to you by combatants. But it doesn't say that it does, although it has pictures saying Arxol Avoid on it. But I think it, it gives you less of uh, a resist than, say, a Void Arc uh, Solar Resist. But I could be wrong. I also couple couple that, especially going through the mission, I couple that with a sniper resist so that snipers aren't leaving me in real, real danger. Uh, now, we're outside. So what we've got to deal with outside is we're going to have to get an operator buff, which we'll get in just a bit, just up ahead. But we're also going to have... This is Sniper City. It's going to be lots of snipers coming out. Now you can see I'm already looking... Because once we get over here, see a sh the ships, but there's also Arc Knights. So I'm going to try and take down the Arc Knights really quickly. And then straight away, because we've got a minor spec on, the, the, the snipers are not going to pose as a threat. Not here anyway. So, but we will prep for the next set. Now where we are now, right, you'll be able to see the next set of bad guys pretty easily. So we're going to take them all out from here. You see, we've got this, I'm going to just break this knight's shield if I can from here. And then it's just a one hit to kill them. Then we've got a, a whole ton of snipers. This is like the second wave of snipers. There are more. You can see there, there's what operative. There's the guy with what operator buff. There he, there he goes. I'm just checking. Now, there are three arc knights up ahead. The xenophage, even though they're shielded, We'll take them out with two hits. Just be careful with the aiming. There you go. You see, that's the three of them done. Where those knights were, when we jump up there, that's when we're going to get our third wave of snipers. As long as I don't... Um, for all of us, if we're not having to deal with a whole bunch of snipers when we get up there, that this makes this section a whole load easier. So, now we've got the operator buff. There's three panels to shoot. One, two... Three. And that brings out these uh, platforms here that allow us to to jump up to the to where we need to go, basically. And once we get up here, you're going to notice there are an absolute ton of snipers. So I'm going to put down my, my rift. Now, what sometimes a sniper will teleport to your left. See, I, I spun around there just to make sure I wasn't being blindsided. Absolute metric ton of snipers this time they uh, you know they never teleported so we were all good but that's how you deal with that section quickly now when we get up here we've still got xenophage Bosch, two two xenos per, per ogre and your gold now the four bearings will just wipe them out because they're all in a straight line and then here I, I can just melt those now I, I do like I am one of them type of people that you know it's not quite Michael Jordan. I took it seriously. You know, I, I took it personally. But if I start killing enemies, I'd like I like normally to get rid of them all. So the Xenophage sorts these guys out pretty quickly. And now what we're gonna do, because this is the second mini boss battle, is now we're gonna change to our boss battle setup. Now you can go with an SMG here, because everything's close proximity. I normally go with a scout rifle because I especially avoid one because at, well, at the boss that's why I'm kind of switching my void because there's some a lot of void shields at the boss well there's some important void shields so what we're going to do is just again exactly what we've done to start with except we're going to uh, put our super and not fire any any rockets until he brings down his shield now I can just put a couple of rockets at, at one point we just need to be careful because he will charge you and you can see if I now if you get to that point and you're like oh I could die I could I, I I think I'm getting hit just put a weather horde down on the rest of the ads because you've still got the bower it will proc your healing you'll be good but I I when I seen his health one more rocket was all he needed when I seen that I figured I'll just put the rocket on him and kill him now we're back to operator buff so well I say back we will open that we start mixing and matching the buffs here. So once we get that buff, you see there a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of shanks just appeared. 
you'll get once you shoot these two see i'll go to this doorway because we get a whole bunch of exploders spawning outside we just want to get rid of them we don't want them coming around behind us now what's going to happen is these two rooms will open take out the machinies i think we get more shanks once we've took them and one of these guys as you can see there has another buff so what we've got to do is we've got to put our buff into uh, the, the augmentation terminal to pick up scan a buff which will allow us to scan these two things once you've scanned one i think you get this four or five uh shanks that'll appear four shanks I'll just take them out and then we go and scan this next one and then we're on to the next section that is but at this point it's pretty straightforward if you need to open a door then the chances are you either need to scan something or or you need to put your buff back in a terminal so you can see there i threw my grenade right on top of those enemies uh there's another there's another captain there and i just debuffed them with with the there's another captain i debuffed them with the grenade launcher and then xenophage sorts them out with one hit because we can clear it's just it's just really good so I'm, now i've got to put my scanner buff in the augmentation terminal to pick up the operator buff which will allow me to shoot that to open the doors as you can see you open the doors you get more kind of little lads trash mobs now and you can see there we've got another scanner buff which means more than likely we've got to put our buff back in the augmentation terminal and pick up a scanner buff i'll just take out this machine gun first and the augmentation is over here the terminal's over here so we'll go and put our operator buff in here and then we'll pick up the scanner buff and that that should be what we need to do to get to the next level there will be something scammer in the corner here and and then we get a whole bunch of exploders out with the wave frame and then we go through this teleportation uh section and i'm going to take the opportunity right now to change to my boss damage setup and it just saves a bit of time when we get there now you can see that there's i can't use the terminal because there was a there was a server there so in this i think it's this section here this is where you learn how to use the the suppressor so the suppressor basically is those kind of orbs you see here and you've got to stand in the orbs and do damage to break the shield right now if you put a wither horde on on the boss then all you've got to do then just take him out with scout rifle all you've got to do then is run through the circles because you're still doing damage you know, the weather horde is still doing damage that's kind of the way it works i'm trying to keep my uh my rockets and stuff there we go and the te now we can use the augmentation terminal because the servers went down and now we're at the boss so this boss is actually it's very it's kind of similar uh to one of the encounters in the raid it's just before the boss so the idea here is you've got deal damage to this boss and you see there i've debuffed them i'm gonna throw uh, my nova at them and then a couple of rockets let's see what he looks like there but I'm good. the plan is to keep debuffing them i don't want to use too many rockets now what we're gonna get here you see those orbs it's exactly the same as it is in the raid I just want to sit there we can put one on them so now i'm gonna get ready for the boy here it's the exact same as it is in the raid see there he is you'll always spawn there what we have to do now is we have to debuff we have to uh, suppress the boss and just try to take out these captains as one at each of the suppression uh, areas take out this uh, sniper as well i always come back to where i am now because it's the only place that i found one of the few places i found where I'll just throw my grenade down there 
it's one of the few places that I found where the, the ads don't come, they don't come up here. So now I'm going to try and hit them with that one, you see. So now all I've got to do, just get put another one up there, is go through these places while he's taking damage from the Wither Horde. Because I never hit him with the Wither Horde, that's the problem. I never hit him with the Wither Horde. Now you see there, I got in trouble. Uh, and all I done was melee, use my melee to try and drop. There we go, we've got a Wither Horde on him now. Got a grenade. Uh, all I've got to do is kind of land here when the circle goes. You see that flash? That lets you know that jobs are good. Right? Now we've got a whole bunch of enemies coming here now. I just dropped a grenade, let them all run into there. And now that I've dropped, now that we've suppressed them, these three kind of... I don't know really what you would call them. It's the same as the, the, there's a, there's a an empire hunt against what's it the technocrat where you have to shoot those after you deal damage to them. It's exactly the same. There are three of them. Each time you've finished your suppression, each time you've done the three suppression nodes, these three uh, drones will will appear. So now, as you can see, I've debuffed them. Don't have my super just yet, so I'll just park a couple of rockets on his face. He likes it. And even if he doesn't, who cares? Uh, pretty close to having him. I probably can burn another rocket on him. There. I've got my super. He's quite low. I don't really want to be burning my super on that amount of health. So, and as you can see, the only thing we've got to worry about when we're up here is his grenades and they're very easy to avoid he's he's nearly he's nearly uh going back into his cocoon i i already put uh weather horde on top of the suppression vandal and i've dropped my my uh captain from up here Let's see if i can there we go we've hit the other captain there's another sniper there i just put a weather horde on him which allows me to just get rid of him quickly and there we go now we're going to rinse and repeat. Uh, I don't have... I don't have... Uh, devour prop. But it's very easy to come around and put a grenade on, on the boss. So now... See there, I've done the damage. Now all I've got to do... Is I'll just... Run through each of the circles. And as, and as I've said, as long as you've got devour, you can use Wither Horde to just get rid of the adds. And keep getting your health back. Now I'm going to jump up jump up here. I know there's going to be an absolute ton of ads, so I'm just using my grenade to just take out, you know, any of them that kind of follow me and being aggressive while I take these drones out, and that'll prep us for the the next the next load of uh, DPS. So, I put a weather horde down there, I'll stick one down there. Uh, and I've got my grenade, so if I do get in any trouble, I always like when I'm taking these drones down, you cannot turn your back. As you've seen there, I turn my back and then all of a sudden there were ads right right behind me. So if you are going to be down ground level, you have to keep moving. You don't have to come down here, I'm just switching it up because I didn't know what enemies were up and about. See, there's a bunch of them there. I've just got this last one and then... See, there's tons more, but I've got a grenade. No fun for them. And now I'll take out the the last drone. Just making sure there's no ads floating about, which there isn't. So we've just landed something on the boss. There we go, we've, we've put one on him. Super, couple of rockets should just about be him. And that's that's it. The, where we are now is your safe spot. The only ad that you'll ever get up here is when when you the, the boss goes cocoon after you've taken down your uh, your vandal to get the suppressor buff, you'll get a shielded scorn captain or chieftain uh, at each of the areas where you need to suppress the boss. And there you go, guys. So that is that is my solo run on on the legend version of the Seraph Shield mission. I hope some of what I've done or some of what I've shown has helped you guys. Uh, 
stay tuned for more videos. I've got, I haven't even put in a dungeon video up yet, so that one will probably be the next one coming out. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Take it easy, and I will see you all in the next video.